allocate surprise me. Okay, so Ella and Bryce are actually in school today and I thought it'd be fun to do a little bit of Squishmallow news. So I know that there is um, an app out there if you guys are interested, it's called Squish Alert. And um, if there is like a brand new listing for a Squishmallow on a certain page, or if they are doing a release drop or something of that nature, that app will alert you. So you can go on there and then you can go directly to the page as soon as it pops up and then you have first dibs at trying to get these Squishmallows that you guys are interested in. So I thought that was an awesome way to follow up with Squishmallow news. So what I thought I'd do is today, for the month of November, I'm going to share some things that are going to be released for Squishmallows that you guys might be interested in and you guys can kind of keep your eyes out and see if you guys find these. Um, we are local in the Western New York, upstate New York area. So some of these other stores down south, um, like the Kroger affiliates and things like that, we um, don't typically get those kind of squishmallows up here in the north. So these are going to, I'm going to try to give a little information on different areas. However, I'm going to try to stay local to our area. Um, I know we have a lot of local followers. So um, as we start to grow a little bit more, I can start to branch off and give you guys a heads up on where I'm finding some of these outside of the northern area. Now I also know that Canada also has quite a few Squishmallows as well. And that area is totally separate from ours, but they are right across the pond um, over the Great Lakes. So if we ever wanted to, we could always take a little journey over there. And that actually might be a fun video to do. We all right, so I did make a note of all the Squishmallows that I have found. I've been taking some notes from a variety of the Facebook pages. Um, I will post a couple of the video um, pictures of like what people have found, where they found it, how much it is, so on and so forth throughout the video. So um, right now I wanna start with Walgreens because that is where we typically have been finding the most amount of Squishmallows. They seem to stock every week. And um, the stores do like kind of like a giant circle on their stocking. So not every Saturday they get them or every Thursday they get them, so on and so forth. But okay, so at Walgreens, they just started releasing their Christmas Squishmallows. Now I had walked in there probably about two weeks ago and I saw one of their shelf flyers stating where everything goes on the shelf. This was also when they started to tell us about the new anniversary Squishmallows and they were making a bigger deal on all their social media platforms about the new anniversary one. So when we were doing that, we started to see some of the Christmas stuff rolling out on, on those um, like planning papers. Now what we learned is that they're going to be selling the 16 inch and it's going to be the Santa, the Christmas tree, the angel, the husky Heidi, and the polar bear. Now they're going to be 16 inches in size and they're cute, so fluffy. They're a little bit larger than what we like to collect. However, dad has already acquired the angel and um, I think it was the Christmas tree. So we'll have to show you guys that in a little while. Now they also are um, rolling out the 12 inch, which is the Boston Terrier George, who has this cute little hot chocolate in his hand. We love him. We found him almost three weeks ago, back at the early begin, well, maybe mid beginning of October. Um, and he's so cute. So they have him and they also have the brown bear with the pumpkin spice, which is perfect for the holidays, seeing as how we're not quite into Christmas, but we're still in kind of the fall phase. Um, so that one was super cute too. We did not find the pumpkin spice yet. And to be honest with you, in our area, I haven't seen him really out on the shelves much. All right, now they also are going to have the eight inch, which is going to be the penguin with the lavender scarf. She is so cute. She is one that I am really hoping for Ella and I to find. Um, I have not seen her as of November 2nd, which is today, um, on any of the shelves in our local area in Western New York. Um, the other one is the reindeer with the silver scarf. Again, these are eight inch Squishmallows. They are adorable. They're kind of a whimsical, cute looking kind of Squishmallow. And I think they're perfect for the holidays. 
Now, before I get started on Claire's, I want you guys to give us a big thumbs up. That helps us grow our channel. You might not be quite ready to hit that subscribe button, which is fine, but if you give us a thumbs up, that helps our channel grow and we can make more videos and you guys can get a better feel of what we do on our channel. Okay, so let's get into the Claire's exclusives for the holiday season. Now Claire's does drop their Squishmallows variety throughout the entire month so you won't know exactly when they're getting them in. So you just gotta kind of pop in. Um, you also might know when their shipments arrive so you would have to check their stores. Um, I know we went to a Claire's, I believe it was on a Friday at the Galleria Mall near us, and um, they actually had just stocked some Squishmallows. Now, I don't know if that's their typical stocking date or if they just get them in randomly and they put them out as soon as they arrive. But what I'm going to tell you is I did see on one of the local Squishmallow um, Facebook page, actually, I'm sorry, it wasn't the local page. It was just on one of the Squishmallow pages. Someone had posted that um, we should be on the lookout for the holiday squad. There's gonna be possibly a total of four um, Squishmallows. I will post the picture right here from the post. Um, you will also notice there's kind of like a tier set up. And I believe this is from someone who actually works for Claire's. So if you notice, that's how they're supposed to have them on the shelf. The one um, near us actually has these uh, acrylic rounders and they're like three or four different sizes and they're tiers. So I'm assuming when you're looking at this picture, you're gonna see that the top tier looks like the smaller ones and the bottom ones are looking a little bit bigger. So if you notice, you're going to see, uh, they're gonna have the Christmas Disney characters. Now these are super cute. They're all gonna have Santa hats on. There is Sully, Mike, Winnie, uh, Mickey Mouse, Minnie Mouse, and Stitch. Now I know Stitch is a very big one in the um, the Disney world, so he might be snatched up pretty quick since he has a cute little Santa hat on. Okay, so now we're going to share with you the next one. Um, it looks like there is uh, just a variety of Christmas themes. So they have a Christmas tree, a snowman. It looks like a swirly um, Christmas mint. There's a gnome, which is exciting because I collect um, those cute little gnomes that you could put um, for display. And I did get the two Halloween ones this year, the one from Aldi's and the one from Five Below, and they look adorable. Um, so I'm excited they're going to start um, bringing out some of the Christmas ones. And um, there is a soldier. And then there's one in the way back. I don't know if you guys can tell in the picture. Um, it, he's really hard to tell. So I'm not 100% positive who he is or what he is. So we'll just have to wait and see. Now there are two more Christmas um, ones on this page. You will notice they have the Rudolph Christmas, which has um, the Clarice, which is the reindeer, the female reindeer. They have the elf. Um, they have the abominable snowman or the Yeti. And then they also have two different kinds of reindeer in this picture. Now the other set of the Christmas ones that they have, I think is a bigger size. These ones are on the bottom of this picture. You'll notice they have another reindeer. Ugh. Sorry, I am not talking. <laughs> another reindeer, a gingerbread boy, a gnome, an elf, and a Santa Claus. So again, I think these are all broken down by size in the picture. So you guys just be on the lookout. I also saw another post that someone says that Claire's may have put this in their rollout as an option. However, not every Claire's store will receive these. So we don't know if any of these will even come to our area. They might actually show up in your area. So we'll have to wait and see. Okay, so the next store I'm super excited about because we just started Squishmallow hunting probably in the beginning of fall. We have not really gotten into Squishmallows until now. Um, but we noticed that Party City started um, putting some Squishmallows out. If you haven't already, go over to our channel. You will see that they have... Um, we have a video of the mystery scented axolotls. Oh my goodness. Okay, so the way these work are you get a Squishmallow bag. They're a little bit larger than the ones that you may have seen at five below, okay? And each bag has a scent. 
Now each scent has a particular Squishmallow inside and you will notice that each Squishmallow in this particular squad is an axolotl. Now I know axolotls are super popular for so many people. My son Bryce, he really likes the axolotls. I do have to say they were a little bit on the girly side in terms of color. Um, I know that there is no, um, you know, gender um, color scheme these days. However, I feel like, you know, I as a girl am a little bit more attracted to these particular Squishmallows. Um, there were one or two that were like kind of, um, I would say like, um, almost like a galaxy look, which was really neat. Bryce liked those. They had like a rainbow color to them. So if you guys haven't already checked that out, make sure you do that. We, um, we did struggle really hard with the scents on these ones. They were a little bit difficult. Um, I do have to say the only one that was really distinct that you could tell was the rainbow um, zebra printed one. And that one smells like chocolate. So go over and see if you can figure out the rest. Okay, so now let's get back to what they released. So in the month of October, not only did they release these mystery axolotls, but they also released this new Sea Life Squad. Now this new Sea Life Squad is a little bit controversial in regards to one particular Squishmallow, and it's the Blobfish. <laughs> Everybody seems to be going crazy. They really seem to want the Blobfish. However, um, what I've learned was uh, that apparently they're endangered because there is a lot of people who seem to be fishing for them. Now, I also do understand that the way they, they have their features, um, it's caused by, I guess, the pressure from where they live. Um, now, the other thing I also learned is that if you Google them, it says that they are the ugliest fish in the world. Now, um, a lot of people think ugly is super cute. So it's all about your own discretion. So don't take anybody else's opinion but your own. And uh, you guys really have to check them out. They have a total of six of them to collect. They are eight inches and i have to say for an eight inch squishmallow they are a little on the pricey side if you are going to go look for these particular squishmallows they want 20 to 22 dollars each and some stores are putting a limit on how many you are allowed to get i will tell you the names of the squishmallows for the sea life at party city however i don't know which ones are which however we have not been to party city to find them I did hear there is a location out in Niagara Falls, um, which is local to our area, and um, they did have them last week. I do not know if anybody has cleared the shelf or posted that they've gotten them. I do also, it, we're told um, that if they still have Squishmallows in their local store, uh, Party City, their corporate, will not send them new Squishmallows. So I don't know 100% if that's accurate, but it's something to keep in mind. If your store still has old Squishmallows, they're not going to put in the new Squishmallows until those are sold out. But let's get into the names. So there's Amala, Tenzing, Eric, Camila, Misko, and Norbu. So they're kind of an interesting, there's only one that seems very common. The rest are very interesting names. So um, you can keep your eyes out for those if you're going to Google them or search them or look for them elsewhere from Party City. Okay, so this brings me to my favorite Squishmallow store. The reason I love Five Below is because all their Squishmallows are $5.55 right now, which is a great price. So you're not gonna find Squishmallows cheaper anywhere else in these particular sizes. Now, um, right now, five below, I have a list and I will show you here. This is their rollout list for November. Now you'll notice there's three different kinds in this particular list. You will notice there's Ronnie the cow. You will also notice there is a food collection and there are a mix of a variety of them. Now, they are um, actually going to be rolling these out. They're supposed to do it the first Sunday of every month. 
Now, if you are familiar with Five Below, this past month in October, there was some shipment delays and they did not get all the Squishmallows to each store by the first Sunday. When that happened, a lot of the stores ended up telling everybody that they did not have a release date until otherwise. When that happens, we have to check social media. The reason you do that, guys, is you want to make sure you follow their Instagram, follow their Facebook, follow their TikTok. You want to be on Squish Alert because the second they release them, it's within 24 to 48 hours, and you won't know which Squishmallows or what day or what time until you see those posts. So they do that as like a media ploy to keep you on their social media platforms, which is a great media strategy. You're going to notice that these particular ones are supposed to roll out on November 7th, which is this Sunday. I am super excited. Someone on one of the other Squishmallow Facebook groups has also mentioned that they were planning on getting Ronnie and then the mixed collection. However, one of the other ones, which is possibly the food collection, has possibly been delayed. We will not know this until Sunday. So this will be interesting. So they might do two releases this month, which kind of gives your wallet a little bit of a break. All right, so before I get into the need to know Squishmallow news, I want you guys, if you haven't already, give us that big thumbs up to help grow our channel. And if you guys are really enjoying this video and you think that it's informational, is helpful to you guys, hit the subscribe button, you can see more. I plan on doing these um, maybe every two weeks or every month, and we'll see um, you know, as the information rolls in how I can get it to you guys as quick as possible. All right, so I'm gonna call this since this is our first Squishmallow news, I am actually going to call this the must know. Okay, so the must know Squishmallow information. The turkeys! All right, guys. So Ella and Bryce are on the prowl for the turkeys. I have a strong, strong feeling that we're not gonna find them here. This is a little bit disappointing. However, we do have family down south. So grandma, Make sure you check in. All right, so we found out that I believe um, Kroger had originally, or a Kroger affiliate originally had released these in the past. Um, I don't know if they're doing them again this year. Now, I've seen Amazon has had the turkeys um, on their website restocked twice now. They are um, about $35 plus shipping. So after it was all said and done, if I was to order it, it was coming to around 50 something dollars, which in my opinion, is too much for a Squishmallow. However, he is highly rare. That means that everybody is on the prowl for this guy. So if you guys see these turkeys, grab them because you're not gonna find them again it is like a one-time opportunity. Um, so again, I also said that they were having the restock on Amazon. I have not checked today to see if they still have them, but if you're on Squish Alert or any of the Facebook groups, people will alert you and let you know, so just keep checking there. Now, Learning Express says that they were getting in the turkey squishmallows. I think it was their Instagram or possibly their TikTok page. They had a really cool um, like display for their media where somebody tossed them one of the turkeys and then they put it on the shelf and there was a whole row full of these turkey squishmallows. They were quite large in size, so I don't know how big or what their prices are. Here in upstate New York, we don't have any Learning Expresses but we did visit one when we went to visit grandma in uh, Cool Springs, Tennessee. So we had been over there at some point. We just haven't actually seen any. So the other place um, I was told is, um, which we don't have here locally, but it's called a Harris Teeter store. Somebody said they found one um, just a couple weeks ago in October. Um, I don't know the price or the size, but if you guys have a Harris Teeter near you, you can check that location. Um, again, that was someone in person found it on the shelf in the wild. <laughs> 
so um, we have some more must know Squishmallow news for you. I have a couple little things you want to keep your eyes out for. Now, there are um, these Squishmallow ornaments. And again, like I said, we are close to Canada. However, we cannot cross the border due to COVID right now. But they are getting in these adorable little Squishmallow um, ornaments. They come in a box. I believe it's an eight in a pack. Um, you will see that they have the gnome, the angel, the elf, a white tree, a Santa Claus, a Mrs. Claus, a cute little snowman, and a soldier mouse. So that is in one pack. This is the 2021 um, series. And then they also have a secondary pack that you can get. And that one has the penguin, another reindeer, a raccoon, a moose, a bear, one that looks like a husky, a seal or sea lion, I'm not sure. He is brown, so I'm not sure what classifies them. And then the white mountain cat. I think he's a mountain cat, that's what he looks like to me. And they have some really nice information on the back of the box with their name and a little bit of a backstory. So these are really cute. Okay, so this is the last piece of must-know Squishmallow news. Now, Kroger Affiliates, there's a store called Ruler. I'm not familiar with it. There's not one near me, but someone had posted on October 28th in one of the groups that they're from Indiana, and they have released some more Squishmallows for Christmas. They have, um, I guess, an ornament, a Santa a Mrs. Claus, a cupcake, and a cute little mint. So if you guys are looking for those particular ones, I will have a picture right here. You guys can check them out. You can see if you can find them. I'm also not positive what their prices were. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Squishmallow News that I am providing for you guys. Again, this is our first ever episode. So if you guys really enjoy this, keep giving us those big thumbs up. Let me know with the thumbs up that you guys like this video and I will continue to share more Squishmallow news. We are also on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. So if you guys want to leave messages, because we are a children's channel, you cannot do that here on YouTube, but we did allow you to do that over on our social media. So check us out over there and we'll see you guys soon. Bye everybody.